So, these are one of the hardest things to clean. And I've tried everything before in the book. Pur uh, purple power, I've tried degreasers, I've tried everything. Gasoline. For the most part, gas works. But, I heard about this new thing. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to put this to the test to see if it works. I've tried it on one. I know the results. So, I'm pretty excited with it. So, watch this video. Check out the steps to using this. And we're going to go ahead and see how it does against this other stuff that's a lot thicker. It's a lot worse. And uh, we're going to see just how much of effort we have to put into actually having to clean these things. So sit back, relax, and let's see what happens. Okay, so I've already cleaned one, but I'm going to save this for after. I've already gone ahead and started for the most part to take these pistons apart from the rods. Um, so these pistons here... I'm not sure about the other ones, but these here have these little ring clips, one on each side here. So you would have to pop these out, and what I used was just a little screwdriver just to pop them out. And then you use something else to pop this out, the pin out. So once you do that, like I said, I've already done this one. And um, you can start cleaning. I'm not going to go ahead and take the whole thing out. I mean, it doesn't really matter but um the next thing i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna go ahead and just take the rings out that way i can uh spray it inside these little crevices and see if i can get the uh the stuff that's in here i'm not worried about these rings i'm gonna buy new ones so if you're not gonna buy new ones I would suggest being very careful with them, but if you are, if you're going to buy new ones anyways, then it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, I'll put these over here. Try and clear some space so y'all can see. Normally, you probably want to do this outside, but it's dark, and I really want to try to get this out so you have... Anybody's in need, they can see it. Okay. So, like, I, I'm not gonna clean these rods. You could, you could use that on these, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, not worry about these because I'm actually using Coyote rods on my three valve build. So, it's another thing. If you're building a three valve, you can actually use Coyote rods inside of them. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so after you take everything apart, of course, you have the piston. Like I said, I'm going to leave this in here, but you can choose to take it out if you want to. From what I was told, shake it up real good. You're going to want to at least let it sit for 10 minutes. And, uh, let me get my phone so we can put a timer. Okay. So, all you're gonna do is when you spray it, you get good layers on it. And the good thing is, this is actually an uh, oven cleaner, so it's not like there's any fumes that you wouldn't really have to worry about as far as having to do it outside. You could, but it's made for the inside, so. And as I'm spraying it, you can already see some of it already coming off. You can see there, you can actually see all that dirtiness, carbon buildup, just kind of falling off of it. Get a good spray. Okay. And 
just gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put my put my alarm. And we'll be back and try to see what it looks like after its first round of oven cleaner. And then we can just go from there. And if we need to, we'll do another one and we'll just keep going until we get into the, the way we want it to look. Okay, so it's the next day. My battery died and it was late. So I just went ahead and charged them up for today. So I'm this is day two of this. Um, <clears throat> so we did it the first spray and this is how good it is um it looked like this so you can kind of compare them big difference so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and spray all of these and i'm just going to do all of them and then once i get all of them cleaned and everything then you know i'll show you what it looks like when you know i get them all done it's no need to really show I mean it's the same process if you still have if you still have all this stuff on here you just keep spraying it until it comes off I mean if you have a better brush I'm using a toothbrush but if you have a better brush it might be able to take this off a lot faster than it would if you know you were using a toothbrush but that's all I have but um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out and then I'll come back and I'll show you the result of what it looks like okay so this is pretty much everything I could do with this one can um, so I have everything here I pretty much used besides the bucket of water um, so this whole can was not enough to finish all of these I mean as you can see there's still some stuff right here um, some of these have some stuff around it I'm just gonna go ahead and buy another can and do these but there's no sense in me waiting to get the other can and make a video about it because you pretty much know what's going to happen. So my thoughts on this oven degreaser is that it works. You just have to do a lot of coats of this. Um, I, I've heard don't wait longer than 10 minutes and then wash it off. I waited 15 minutes and it looks good. Nothing happened. I mean, you know, I'm sure an extra five wouldn't hurt. Um, so I waited five minutes, an extra five minutes, I'm sorry, on each one. So it was a total of 15 minutes per spray. So after I would spray it, once I sprayed it, cleaned it off, dried it off, and sprayed it again, like I showed in the video. And, I mean, some of them came out good, where they took out a lot of that carbon. And then there were some that, you know, there was still a lot on there. And like I said, with that, you just kind of have to keep applying and just keep spraying off like I said it does work it's just you got to be patient and you do have to do several coats of the degreaser the oven degreaser for it to actually work and you have to scrub um like I said this was the only one I had available to me so when I get that next can I'm going to go ahead and stop at the store and get me a, a better scrubbing brush for this um also whenever you're cleaning or you, you're cleaning off the degreaser it's best to get the piston ring I broke this one and then just kind of go as you can and just kind of take the carbon build up from each of these little ridges here because they do get in here and it's kind of hard for you to just spray it and wash it off it doesn't always take it out so remember just get a piston ring or if you have something like a small flathead screwdriver and just get in there be real careful and just kind of scrape off that uh degreaser that's there or the carbon i'm sorry um besides that that's pretty much all i have like i said i didn't clean these just because i'm using rods from a 5.0 coyote for my build so i didn't worry about them and the, the rods are already clean but this is pretty much a pretty good deal like I think this works really good. I've used purple power. Didn't really like it. It took a lot. I used gas. I mean, it worked on the heads. But this, I feel, has given me the best result out of those other other two that I've tried. So, yeah. Like I said, that's it. If you want to try it, I bought it at Walmart. Um, I'm sure there's other 
H E B I believe has it. Um, other little grocery stores. Try it out, give it a shot, and like I said, just take your time. So I want to thank y'all for watching this. It was a shorter video, and uh, thank y'all guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. And I will see y'all there. Keep on keeping on.